you will be confused uh, like uh, can inviscid flow be rotational right so we have confusion based on this idea okay so a very very important discussion we are going to discuss here but the very easy answer is uh, yes definitely uh, inviscid flow can be rotational yeah it can be rotational but how so we need a proper logic to understand this idea so that's what i say my videos as the perfect explanation probably it will reach uh, where you want to go so viscosity and vorticity we have two things mostly people used to think like viscosity is causing the rotational flow right but at the same time we used to miss there is something called vis uh, vorticity also okay so you can think both can cause rotational effect okay let's see this point one i will try to clear in my way navier stoke momentum this equation contains viscosity term yeah so definitely flow is viscous because you know for viscous flow we use navier stoke equation right okay point two if we do curl operation for our uh, navier stoke momentum equation then we get vorticity equation correct okay keep in mind viscosity term is again present when we are doing curl operation so we had a navier stoke equation and uh, we did curl of this so we got a new equation that is vorticity equation and in this vorticity equation we have lot of terms in that term uh, among those we have one term which is viscosity term right point 3 if you drop viscosity term i mean make that viscosity term as zero right from the vorticity equation still vorticity is there correct because there are other terms they are alive in the equation so we have vorticity equation it's not like we we lost our vorticity term itself no we are only dropping viscosity term so situation is somewhat clear now making viscosity zero does not mean vorticity is zero correct and very important point 5 if vorticity is zero then only flow is rotational if vorticity is not zero flow is not irrotational if vorticity is not zero flow is rotational right so i hope you got the idea keep in mind if vorticity is zero then flow is irrotational and keep in mind one, one more thing uh from navier stoke equation we can get euler equation and laplace equation in this equation if you set viscosity as zero you will be getting euler equation and in the same equation if you substitute vorticity zero will be getting laplace equation right so even flow is inviscid it can be irrotational or rotational it depends vorticity is zero or not I hope this video is helpful for you. Thank you.